Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today it's time for another perfume review and it's the turn of the classic Nina Rishi Nina perfume. Um, so Nina Rishi has been around for a really long time in the perfume world and her original fragrance, um, Fleur de Temps, yellow packaging, the lid is like a bird, is like a really traditional bestseller and was really big like back in the day. Um, it's not a modern fragrance but it's a favourite of people I think who've been wearing it for like 20 years or whatever. Um, the Nina by Nina Rishi is the like classic apple shape um, with the like circular lid and like the metal leaves and it looks like a red apple. It's been around for a really long time. I think this was one of the first perfumes I got back when I was a teenager and it's kind of always been in fashion. Like those sort of apple cherry type patterns and stuff have come in and out of style but this has like always been quite a cool bottle I think. Um, so what's really nice about this perfume is that it's not as expensive as most normal perfumes so you're going to be paying maybe 10, 20, maybe even 30 pounds less than if you go for a, um, you know, Dior, uh, Chanel, Armani, whatever. So she's kept her perfumes cheaper and I think that makes me think that perhaps they're aimed at a younger market place like teenagers, people in their 20s but do you know what, I think the smells are applicable to everyone um, so they're quite a good value like all the Nina Rishi perfumes quite good value for what they are so what does it smell like so surprise surprise the shape of the bottle gives it away the overarching note is of apples so this smells like being like in a fresh apple orchard you've just picked an apple and you smell it and then you take it home and you caramelize it in praline. <laughs> so it's kind of a bit like a candy apple type smell almost. Um, but it's not, it's not a sweet smell, so it is quite fresh. Um, if you love like apple flavor stuff, you are gonna love this perfume. Cause there aren't actually that many like apple perfumes out there. Um, so it's super fruity, it's super fresh. I think it's a really nice perfume, you know, you wake up in the morning, you spray it, it sort of feels like bringing you to life. Um, and the bottle's like super cute to have on your dressing table. Um, it is quite a simple smell, you know, it's not complex, it's not mysterious or anything, it's just very pleasant, very nice, like a good daytime perfume. And I think it'd be pretty difficult to dislike it. Like it's not sickly sweet, it's not heavy floral, you know, it's not spicy or aromatic. It's just like nice apples, citrusy, fruity smell. It's, it's just nice, right? Um, it's quite similar to a lot of other perfumes. Um, so Chanel Chance Eau Tendre, the pink one. It's similar to the Anne um, Britney Spears perfume, the pink one, similar to some of the Juicy Couture ones, quite similar to Amour Amour, that traditional perfume. And it's kind of along the same lines as your sort of Misty or, um, and basically any perfume that has pink liquid or pink packaging, it's kind of similar to. Um, and the Escada, like holiday perfumes they bring out each year, are quite similar to those. Um, in fact, I think it's actually made by the same company. I think it's Procter & Gamble, I think. Um, so yeah, basically I think that, you know, you can't really go wrong with this perfume. It's not really like super aspirational. I'm not sure it would be that good as like a romantic gift if the person didn't specifically ask for it or already have it. But I think it would be good to get as a, you know, if you receive this as a present from a friend or family member, you wouldn't be like, it, you know, it's pretty, it's not controversial, you know, unless the person really hates apples. I'm not sure I've met anyone that hates apples, but there probably are people that hate apples. Um, and I guess it's probably best if you're sort of under 30, 35, I would say. Um, as a general rule, if you're present giving. But it's good value, like you can get a full size, um, I don't know how much it is, maybe like 40 something. Um, so basically, yeah, I like this perfume, it's nice, makes me happy. 
because I got it when I was younger probably it just it feels all nostalgic and nice and it's an apple and I like it so that is it so if you found this review useful then don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching check out some of my other perfume reviews but that is it so bye for now